Hi, Jacob here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So I ordered the iPad mini right when it was available. So I've probably been using it for a couple of months now. So this is kind of a long-term review and just some general thoughts on the um, iPad mini. And with the MacBook Pros just recently released, you know, all other devices have pretty much lost the limelight and rightfully so. Um, most YouTubers and uh, tech reviewers have been focusing on these uh, laptops. They're fantastic machines and highly anticipated. But you know, the holiday season is fast approaching. So I just wanted to highlight a device that I feel a lot of people would like. And uh, I also wanted to talk about why I feel the iPad mini is actually the perfect size and even more usable than the larger iPads for casual use. Over the years, I've owned a number of iPads and to be honest, I've never really been able to work them into my life. I find iPad OS to be somewhat limiting and cumbersome to do real work. Plus, you're not able to install most of the useful software for productivity. So my go-to for real work is my laptop and I feel this is the case for most people. So I also find the full-size iPad too large, heavy, and difficult to hold as a passive device. Even when I'm at work and on the go, I find that my iPhone is faster to navigate, to view documents, text, and everything else. And all of you who have tried typing on an iPad know exactly what I'm talking about. And if I need to attach a keyboard, I might as well just bring my laptop. It's almost as portable. So I have a number of iPads around the house that I never really use and then Last year, I ended up purchasing the iPad Air 4 just because it had the redesign and it just ended up collecting dust. So I ended up getting rid of it. And even for reading news, YouTube, watching Netflix in bed, I found out that my M1 MacBook Air was actually more comfortable to use. The iPad was just too difficult to handle, hold, and when I tried to prop it up, it always fall over. So I just, you know, I just never ended up using it and I ended up getting rid of it. This is where the iPad Mini 6 does well. It's the same size as the book, and I find it super easy to hold for long periods of time when I'm reading and consuming content. It's also much easier to take around with you. It fits in your bag and you don't even really notice the weight. And because it fits in your hands better and it's much lighter, I find it a lot easier to type on and navigate. Although the new Mini 6 didn't receive a lot of hype, I feel it's a device that you should consider. It's actually really usable. You need to consider how badly you need the larger screen for consuming content, reading, and watching movies. With a complete redesign, the iPad Mini 6 is also more contemporary and similar to the iPad Air 4, just a touch smaller. And the Mini actually has a more powerful CPU and GPU as it's using the new A15 Bionic chip. It's the same chip that's used in the iPhone 13. And it also has a fantastic edge to edge screen. Now it's larger 8.3 inches and a very high pixel density, 500 nits of brightness. And it supports a wide color gamut and true tone. I find it to be very vibrant and super sharp and movies look great on the mini. Some other welcomed updates to the new mini is a fingerprint reader on the power button, which is convenient for unlocking. It supports the Apple Pencil, uh, fast Wi-Fi 6, and if you get the cellular version, it also supports the new 5G standard. I do have to mention, there's no attachable keyboard for the iPad mini. So those of you who want the mini to double as a laptop, it just might not be the best device for you. Also for pro users who need LiDAR for purposes such as floor plans or some type of pro work, there's no LiDAR. If there's anything negative about the mini, I would have to talk about the configurations offered. So the base model has 64 gigabytes of storage. For most people, they just need a touch more for all of their photos, apps, music, and movies, and whatever they have on their, their device. But the only other option is 256 gigabytes and the price jumps up significantly. So I have to ask, where's the 128 gigabyte model? This is the right storage size for about 95% of the people out there. And I feel Apple knows this. And they also know that 64 gigabytes isn't enough for most people. So they're going to update to the more expensive 256 gigabytes. And this doesn't really make sense. While I'm complaining, possibly someone from Apple may see this. You just never know. It's about time there's an update for iPad OS to allow for multiple users, just like any other computer. And Apple actually calls the iPad a computer. So 
let users and especially family members share a single iPad. Other than that, in my opinion, the iPad mini is one of the best devices of 2021. And if you're looking for a new iPad, the mini is one you should definitely take a closer look at. Don't cross it off the list just because it has a smaller screen. It's actually an advantage. It makes it much more convenient and a usable iPad. Anyway, this is a short one. Hope you enjoy your day and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.